Last episode, I was expecting a lot of answers, but instead we got a lot more questions. They didn't answer much. We do know that the Wing Knights are humans. And my guess is because Helk said you retained your personality. And we talked about the different toxins that the demons are pretty much trying to suppress to keep it coming from the human side. But Helg did mention, oh, I've seen these monsters before when they were talking about the specific monster that's created by the toxins. So then my guess is it leaked above to the human realm. And now the humans either have just all gone crazy and Helg killed them all or they're evolving as heroes. They're like awakening. There's so many questions, but yet we're on a fucking beach date now, I, I guess. I, I don't really know. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Just water. I guess they don't really have oceans like that in the demon realm, huh? Edge of the continent. Because obviously the continent's <laughs> surrounded by bodies of water. <laughs> Jesus. What is the whole purpose of this now that Vermilion and Helk are just left alone in this paradise beach kind of place? Didn't she? Yeah, yeah. Didn't she wake up to Helk's? Yeah, cape. Watch her still sniff it, yeah. She keeps sniffing it! I want her to take one more sniff. He's probably building like a cabin, some kind of temporary house, right? Yep, look at this shit. This guy can do anything. Where did he... Even the stonework, holy! What a guy, dude. He can cook, he can build house. Oh, it's so cute. Hello. Little bird thing. Oh, you can talk. Hello? Hello there, Helk. Helk's eyes look like we're gonna hunt it. Hello. Without you guys to help, they've been helping? There's these random talking bird cute things that's helping him out? Mm -hmm. So it's not just like we're part of a continent anymore. We're just stranded on an island. Yeah, I mean, it is really like paradise-like. Watch us start being really carefree too after a couple days. See? It would rain, not get in the house. I have a little pet thing. Now, come on in. She won't though, right? I don't know, she looks very hesitant, but doesn't trust him. Even though he's done everything to gain her trust, he's, she's still on her guard, and I don't blame her. I would feel the same way. No. She probably kind of likes being manhandled like this. I don't know, man. Even though she's being all sundere like this, she liked the cape. Just build a boat. She, he just makes everything sound so easy and doable. But that is Helk. Together, E word. We shook hands. And I thought that this is gonna be like a. Yeah. She's subconsciously just like agreeing with him. And I think they're gonna be good friends. It's just. I just can't completely trust him because we don't really know his backstory, right? We need to great Vermilion. Oh, never mind. All out war right away. Okay, never mind. I thought we we're gonna pick up the heroes, but what the fuck is this? Is contradicting? Oh, whatever. Locator spell. That's okay. That sounds really convenient. But remote island. Would they be able to track something like that? Physical piece of the, the hair, the hair that she cut off. Now we got her hair. That's why she cut her hair off. How convenient. <laughs> what? Of course he did. He probably sniffs it to bed every night. No, you definitely are kind of like that. Oh. 
I got lit on fire as it was burning away, so you, of course he tried to do it. And they want, you know, what's, what's the word? They'll give her the benefit of the doubt that she's not some crazy person for taking her hair. Yeah, it, it's, it's her tradition, right? What a nice little explanation. But as soon as he does it, it's like, you fucking deviant freak. Yeah, I mean, I, it is what it is. Probably... Is it even on the map? Oh, we already found it. But it's... Yeah, it's not even part of the map, right? Your map's not even complete, bro. How do you even get there? And we're back on Paradise. Bird, do you have a name? Mr. Bird? Hello? Why can you talk? Oh, it's so encouraging. Thanks. <laughs> I like this green bird thing, dude. Yeah. But he said that, like, killing them would not be a good idea. I don't know. The Winged Knights knew him, but he wouldn't... He's still siding on our side. I don't know. He's all over the place. I think the most logical thing to assume is that Hulk is an ally, but there's obviously more to it. And everyone is just kind of on their tippy toes because of Hulk's relations with the, the Winged Knights. You know, back at the castle, he didn't specifically kill them. Edel knew him. But at the same time, we're missing that information. So I think it's still safe to assume that Hulk is on our side. Your flames can't do shit. He would just destroy you. Oh my god. The, the rule 34 of Helk and Ant, it, it's gotta exist, right? What is this fucking camera angle? This bird is so motivational. I'm listening. I'm paying attention, Mr. Bird. Dude, the birds, the, the fucking fish is gonna get away. Pull. He has such knowledge about how to fish. What, what are you, bro? Do you have a name? One of the four demon lords is getting defeated by the small fish. Uh, and for management. The string's gonna snap. It's over. Fish, one. And for management, zero. What is this look? He, this guy. Even for something as casual as this, like, fish getting away. Don't give up! Runs in! Did you get the fish or something even bigger? No, no you're incredible. Uh-huh. It's not even the fish! What are you talking about, bro? You brought up some kind of, like, sea unicorn! I don't know. Can we even eat it? Walking on the ocean floor. So the brief moment he dived under and if he reached the ocean floor, sure. Where are you going? Where? Are you, where's the bird going? Okay, bye. Did he even make the bed sheets and everything? Like, I can understand making a bed frame with the wood, but like, where do you get the mattress and these sheets from? Y yeah, where's he getting all these clothings from? He didn't hand make it, right? He's gonna be wearing just an- Oh, never mind, it's outside. Who the fuck are you? I'm the dude that gotta deliver your breakfast. We have a breakfast deliverer? Whoa, what? You did, didn't you? Who, who, why do these things exist now? Why aren't we questioning it? Why, we should ask them, like, bro, what do you guys do here? Can we get- I, well, I don't get it, man. Hulk did, of course. That's what you care about? He got the munchies. The village chief? There's a village? What if the green bird thing is the chief? Okay, bye, dude. This guy is so sweaty. That's the village? Oh, hello. All right, bro. Nice house. Oh, no one's asking, bro. 
<laughs> just a few houses and that's it. Okay. He's getting hyped up for sure. Where do you learn this, bro? Where did he learn this language? Hello. They all can just talk, but they're kind of cute, right? Outsiders are not allowed, but maybe Hulk is already here. No name. Oh, it's a birdie. I hope this thing is the village chief. It's all fluffy and big and chunky. Yeah, look at it. Old lady smell. I mean, age-wise, she kind of is, right? What's this aura for building a boat? Oh my god, what, what is this aura, man? This focus. Nah, this is just to like chop a tree, I think. Look at him. Stealing his resolve. One slash. <laughs> He's just cutting down a tree, by the way. And Anne's like, how much has he been hiding his true power? Not one tree, of four at once. Holy shit, the weapon broke. And I think Anne said through the wind pressure alone, the tree got cut. I can't completely tell, but that was four in one swing. Oh, we never needed a weapon. He could just probably just blow air through his mouth and it'll break down. Hello. Do you? It's so cute. It's so encouraging. It's so cute. It's a little dumb, but it's so cute. Hello. To check that you didn't leave me, man. No, just pick a random direction and I'm sure we'll get home somehow because it's hell. Take one thing at a time as he's just picking up two logs like this. Already built the house, ready to build a boat. This guy is just next level. Hmm. Almost looks like a uh, ruined uh, villages before, huh? Like this, there used to be places here and then some kind of civilization. Can't really tell. Nostalgia. Nostalgic. Why would Ant feel nostalgic about these ruins? It has something to do with the... Is that your boat? That's it? Ah, uh, well, I bet it's really OP. Village chief. Playground? No, sir. We've just been playing Minecraft on your server. I doubt he's super scary. Now nah, we're getting baited. All the civilians here are so cute and fuzzy. This little episode, you know, we got introduced to this island. It's like some kind of remote island, not even a part of the map. And then there, there's these ruins and Anne's getting nostalgic about it, meaning there's some kind of connection with the ruins and the demons of the past. Who knows what it is? I don't really know. I'm gonna talk to Village Chief and figure out how to get the fuck off of it. Kind of slow part. I wish the anime would go back towards the entire like versus the human, not really versus the humans, but back to actual plot but hey this is like a little little intermediate phase that we gotta get past but hey if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time take care